don't forget, boys and girls, to look for Basket Cat. In 1 Samuel 16, 7, the Bible reads, man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. When we hear the message of faith, sometimes we get these crazy ideas in our head about what that means. Today, we're gonna talk about what faith is not. Some people think that faith is a get rich quick scheme. They pray for $10 billion. Every year, someone wins the lottery, but it destroys their life because they don't know what to do with all those millions of dollars. Father God wants to bless us, but he's also concerned about our motives. Why do we want $10 billion? What are we gonna do with that $10 billion? He's concerned about our motives. Faith doesn't work if we're selfish. Here's a math test. I'm sure you can relate. Some people hear the message of faith and, and they pray if you're at school and you're like, okay, God, I pray for an A on this math test. So we think, well, I prayed the prayer of faith. I don't need to study. And we don't think that we need to study and we're just going to get that A because we prayed for it. Is that how faith works? No way. So you see, boys and girls, God wants you to get an A, but he also wants you to study. Okay. It's great to pray to God to get an A, but you can't just pray and then expect to get an A. You have to do the work. Also, along those same lines, let's take a look at one last item. All right? People believe God for their healing, but they throw away their medicine. Does that a smart thing to do? Does God want us to do that? No. God wants us to pray and believe Him and believe Jesus for the healing, but He doesn't want us just to throw away our medicine. He wants us to keep our medicine, all right, and keep believing Him for the healing at the same time. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Anything? I pray for a better sandcastle. I pray for a t-shirt. I pray for a better t-shirt. I pray I can teleport. Whoa, I pray I'm in my room. No way, this is too cool. Anything I pray for, I get. I can have it all. Money, I need money. I pray for a hot car. Whoa! Hey! That's my car!
Hello. Can I help you, young man? I want your house. Pardon me? Mark 11, 24 says I can have anything I pray for, and I pray for your house. Well, why didn't you say so? Here's the keys. The closet door upstairs sticks a little. I pray for a van in a trailer full of tigers. Whoa. I pray for a clown and a gun that shoots Twinkies. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Jason. Hey, where did you come from? Who are you? I'm Agent Smith. This is Agent Chalmer. We're with the APA and we're on to you. Well, you better scram or I'll... <laughs> what? Shoot us with that pickle? <laughs> I pray for handcuffs. I pray that you're under arrest. Well, I pray you guys let me go. <laughs> Jason, prayer doesn't work like that. You can't use your faith just for greedy purposes and to get everything you want. You've been a very selfish boy. But the scripture in Mark 11, 24, it says... Read other scriptures. You didn't build your faith by reading the Bible. You learned one verse and abused it. That isn't faith. You need to build up your faith throughout your whole life, Jason. Plus, you even stole the car... I borrowed the car! I pray for duct tape. As I was saying, you even stole the car, Jason. 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 Can you hear me? Mom, please don't let those guys arrest me. I want a Bible to build my faith and I won't be selfish or abuse it or anything. Okay, but let's go get you a bottle of water and get you into the shade. I think you've had a little too much sun or something. That's it. Too much sun. All right, it's that time again. Let's see how much you remembered from this week. Hebrews 10.38 says, The just shall live by bread alone, live by breathing, live by faith, or live by video games. Which is it? Yep, you guessed it. The just shall live by faith. Faith is a way of life, not a get rich quick scheme, get poor in a hurry scheme, get to bed early plan, or get to hang out with my friends plan. Do you remember? Yes, faith is a way of life, not a get rich quick scheme. Faith is manipulating God to get what you want. What do you think? False? True? all of the above, or maybe. What is it? False. Faith is not manipulating God to get what you want. Faith is believing what God says is true. The walk of faith is a bowl of cherries, hooking up with God's thoughts about me, a bowl of watermelon, or really hard to do. The walk of faith is hooking up with God's thoughts about me. All right, final question. If I am living by faith, I don't have to study for tests. I don't have to take my medicine. I never have to work a job or none of the above. I think you know, none of the above. Great job. Whoa, toilet paper. I mean, I know it's a hot commodity, but really guys? All right, boys and girls, uh, as we're concluding our series in faith, as you can see, we learned uh, in the last couple of weeks how to say it, how to pray it, and how to do it. And today we learned how to bring it all together with live it. And so it's important that we live our life every day for the Lord, all right? So how do we do that? Well, first the word says, in him we live and move and have our being. What does that mean? What that basically simply means is 
Every part of our life represents God in some way. What we say, how we act on others, we do even when we're alone. So uh, we, we need to read our Bible every day. We need to pray to the Lord every day, even worship Him. You don't even need music to do it. You can just praise Him with your own lips and whatever songs about Him come to your mind, right? And so that's what we need to do is live it. So Miss Sarah, would you lead us in a prayer and show us how we can live our faith out? Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, okay, everyone, if you want to close your eyes. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for giving us your word that we can learn how to live by faith. God, I ask that you give us the strength and the endurance to keep on pursuing you and your heart, that even when we don't see our prayer come and to answer straight away, God, that we will keep on pursuing you and living the life of faith. Amen. Amen. See you next time. Okay, boys and girls, we're ending our series on faith. It's been great. We're starting a new one called Leadership. So be ready for that next week.